My name is Michelle Pitzer. I'm from Montclair, New Jersey. I practice yoga at Ashtanga Yoga Montclair with my teacher, Deb Williams. I was going through a hard time in my life. My father had just passed away and a friend had recommended that I should start practicing yoga and she suggested Ashtanga. I became a dedicated practitioner when I got the position to start assisting my teacher in the Mysore room. So I really wanted to set an example for other practitioners that to stick with it and to practice six days a week. I have always heard about Mysore, a lot of um, practitioners would talk about Mysore, my teacher would talk about Mysore, and I always wanted an experience of my own. Um, I always knew it would cost a lot of money and I never knew how I'd get there. I'm just really grateful for this opportunity to apply for this scholarship. I think Yogi's Heart is a really great organization. We're supporting people who want to practice yoga, who can't afford it, and that I was selected to go practice in Mysore. The shala is, you know, it's something you really need to experience for yourself. I can tell you all about it, but you can't feel the energy unless you're there. Um, there's just a, so many people practice and so many people are devoted and to their practice on their mat while they're there and you just step in the room and it's already hot and sweaty and all this energy is going around and it's just, it's so contagious when you're in there. And while you're waiting to go in, you're watching everybody practice and you know, you're like watching people who are so far advanced from you and you're just so, it's just really inspiring because you don't know who you're gonna end up next to in the shala. You know, the other day, this morning, I was next to like certified teachers and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? So it's really cool who you end up next to in the shala and just waiting patiently with your group, you know, waiting for Sharat to call someone in. Um, and he's really funny about it too. He's really fun in the shala. He's always laughing and like smiling and making jokes and he's just, he's like has really good energy when you're around him. He gets Sharat a lot to bring me into um, my, my ankles and then they would go higher. I never thought I was capable of doing that up until I was here and um, now I'm, I'm catching pretty high and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe I can do that. And to practice primary for an entire month, it kind of made me stronger, I think. Um, I, did, I did get Pashasana while I was here though and it kind of made me take my time throughout primary series and to really focus on my backbending because that was kind of the hardest part of my practice was the backbending. I do feel more motivated to practice harder is when you see all these people around you, everyone's coming here for the same reason and you see their practices and um, you try not to compare yourself to theirs, but you do want to, you want to keep that energy going, keep that, you know, that inspiration, that motivation going when you see other people practicing and um, they're from all over the world, people from Japan, people from Finland, from Germany, there's so many different people here for the same reason. And I'm very grateful for Sharat's teachings and um, for the dedication and the hard work he puts into all these students that come to Ashala and the fact that he has a really big heart for all of his students and he remembers them and he cares about them and he's very welcoming and I learned a lot from him while I was here and I'm just really, really grateful that I was able to meet him and practice with him. I also want to thank Kuna for making this experience possible and it's really made a difference in my life.